Hi, I'm Victoria Pirro for Profiles. We're here this week with Pat Tomlinson, and she's directing Lanford Wilson's Hotel Baltimore as her thesis project this quarter. Hi, Pat. Thanks for joining us. It's my pleasure. What does Hot L Baltimore mean? Well, imagine, if you will, a neon sign with the E burnt out. It would read Hot L. And the Hot L or the Hotel Baltimore is rather decaying, and the fact that the E is burnt out in the sign is just one of the many ways that the hotel is just falling down around the ears of uh, the inhabitants. Okay, so this is a play about a hotel. What happens in this hotel? Oh, a lot of things. Mainly we see um, the people who are running the show, who've, who've been there for, for many years, working on staff. We see the rather colorful characters who've been living there for quite a while. It's partly a residential hotel. And also we see the transients who come in and out. So we have a real cross-section of, of, uh, of people drifting in and out and, and carrying on their lives. But I think what's interesting about them is, is at the same time that they're being rather sordid, they're also being very human, um, very touching. There's a little bit of good in, in the worst of them, and they're interesting people to get to know. Mm -hmm. What is the world that you've created visually? Visually, we wanted to achieve a feeling of the generations that have passed through that hotel, that same space. So we have the, in the, the main structure, the architecture of the hotel is very old and dates back to the late 1800s. So we still have the essence of that, and it's a rather strong and sturdy feeling to it. Um, but then we have the changes that the hotel has undergone over the years. Um, the fine furnishings, for instance, uh, have given way to um, tray tables and folding chairs in the lobby. Um, there's distressing uh, marks on the wood that, that uh, is at the front desk, that sort of thing. But the marble is still there, and there's a grand old chandelier that hangs above their heads still. So we wanted to give the, an idea of, of the fact that lots and lots of people have come through the same space. After working on it for a while now, what has this play come to mean to you? I, I think I've come to really admire the writing, first of all, by Lanford Wilson. Um, he's very skilled with the writing of dialogue and the development of, of characters that are very, very dimensional and very textured people, good, bad, indifferent. Um, he's very good with um, multiple conversations happening all at one time. In real life, they would all be talking. There would be different conversations going on. So Wilson doesn't necessarily adhere to the I talk, you talk, dialogue kind of thing at all times. Um, oftentimes, he lets us have a real feel for uh, a real situation. How can we see this play? You can see it the last weekend in February and the first weekend in March at the Forum Theater at Ohio University. And if you call the box office, they'll tell you all about how to get tickets. Pat, thank you so much for being here. I'm really looking forward to seeing the show. Thank you. Join us next week to meet another interesting person on Profiles. And now back to Lisa and RT in the studio. Bye-bye.